Lucy Mendy, and we're here this evening at the grand opening of Gallery 101 in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, I would like to introduce you to June Cashwell. Hi, June. Hi, how are you this evening? Yes. Excited. This is such an amazing community of artists here. Adam has done such a, a great job in gathering such an eclectic group of artists to give back, to do, to be a part of a group and do some wonderful things for the community. I had a lot of fun with this piece because I did this totally by hand. I wanted a, a feeling of leather and I did this totally with my hands, no paintbrushes. I don't want to get the feeling of expression and like being like a little kid, being able to draw with your hands again, but it's a lot of fun. I also, I like to work with feeling of passion. And this piece brings in a lot of passion, almost like tsunami kind of passion, you know, with the storms that we're having. This has got about 12 layers of paint on it, and it works into, again, the red, the passion, the love. We really wanted to just bring in a lot of the uh, local artists here in Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale has a lot to offer. We wanted one big venue to where we could actually expose all the artists here, uh, the undiscovered artists, um, give them an opportunity to possibly be discovered someday, create an amazing venue for uh, nonprofit organizations to hold events here. Uh, we've got great events scheduled and planned. Um, and just a great, great atmosphere. A very fun, friendly environment to come in, look at amazing, amazing art, and hopefully purchase some things. Hi, my name is Stuart Jennings. I'm one of the artists here at Gallery 101 Grand Opening. And the painting behind me's title is Tia. And uh, Tia is a very special woman that I know that um, was a dancer, uh, an exotic dancer. And she um, had been in love many times before, um, but she was always hurt. And she uh, chose money over love, she said. So that's why I have a dollar bill stuffed into her heart. It's acrylic on canvas. It's a very sad piece, actually. But in reality, she's a very sweet woman. Just um, a little, uh, you know, saddened in life. So that's why I thought I demonstrated in it. She has beauty, but she's kind of worn out. Just like your classic um, exotic dancer. Hi, I'm Susan Clifton. I'm one of the artists in this fabulous new gallery 101. Um, my paintings are uh, mirror image floral paintings uh, done in acrylic on canvas. Um, this painting right here is a black eyed Susan, um, sort of photo photographed a little bit on an angle. And when I did the mirror image, I was very pleased that uh, the the image became something completely different than people don't even recognize it as a flower anymore. But I'm just very, very pleased with the color. Um, and this, the center section almost looks like something made out of bone. <laughs> I just think it's, uh, I'm very happy with this one. Christo, and he's going to talk about this fabulous painting that's hanging behind us. Um, okay, this particular piece I have a real good connection with because it represents um, a deity in the African mythology called Negnago, and um, it's a spirit that I'm very much attracted to. And when I did this piece, believe it or not, I did not draw that, it just came out by itself. As I was preparing my canvas, the face appears, and then all I did was just bring it out and it's the same for all the other pieces all the masks are the same they each represent a different deity in the African mythology hi we're here with Lee Ann and she's gonna talk about her artwork that's behind us hi Lee Ann hi how are you <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about this yes um, I piece fabric and then I stitch it together and I call them fiber paintings and basically this piece is called spiritual connection and the ribbon sort of shows that uh, connection of the pieces and each of these are, is a separate stretched um, like a canvas um, pieced together with different fabrics that I choose from 
all over, you know, different types of fabrics that I like. Uh, try to find really nice silks, brilliant colors as you can see. Um, so not only does it have a, a beauty with the prismatic colors, but it also has a little bit of a meaning to it as well <coughs> because of the connection of each of the spaces. Um, I have a lot of, if you look in some of the other pieces here, if you look at some of the other pieces, you can see they have a very architectural um, feel to them. So a lot of my work has the box or the architectural type of um, um, imagery in the work. Basically representing this sort of space that can be both protective and constrictive at the same time. So that's a little bit of the, the subject matter that I have going on there. Thank you so much. Hi.